call your host. And I told Randy I have a song for him tonight. Every, earlier when I was playing it, I just thought about him and Jamie and their ministry with Crossfire over the years. That many years they've been ministering to kids, your kids. This song's for you all tonight, Randy. How lovely are the mountains are the feet of them that brings good news. Good news. Announcing that you can't solve or that you can't answer or no trial that's too big that you can't undertake it or too sickness that's too hard to heal oh for you are the great physicians when doctors have done all they know to do thank you father that you step in for you are the great physician we praise you hallelujah hallelujah Go back to Wade. 
Well, we're in the last half hour of the program tonight, so if you've not uh, gotten your request in, get on the phones now so that we can take time and pray with you over these needs. I want to share just a few more of the requests that have come in. Uh, here's one. Uh, uh, Kelly's uh, having a kidney transplant, needing to remember him in prayer. Uh, Louise is a uh, diabetic, uh, needing a touch from the Lord. Uh, here's someone that's believing for a new home. Uh, also, um, a woman's called in, Joanne, is having problems with her legs and feet, needing a touch from the Lord. A lady called in, please pray for me and my daughter. Uh, we're both sick, uh, needing a touch. Uh, someone else has called in that there's been a death in the family out of state. Uh, we need to just lift them up right now in Jesus' name for peace and comfort and understanding during this time. Uh, couples called in, pray for protection and for the opportunity to open their business back up. Uh, here's someone that's had a stroke. So many needs, but again, as we said earlier, we serve a God that's more than able to provide in every one of these situations, no matter what you're facing uh, during this time. He's God of the mountain. Uh, I told you one time I was going through a thing and situation in life, and I took three songs that the Lord laid on my heart. God on the mountain by the McCamies. When the waves are over your head, they're under his feet. And a song that uh, Roy and Sandy Knight, Little David, the battle's not mine, it's thine. And it is. The battle is his. We just need to turn it over to him and put our trust in him and just watch what he can do. Well, again, we have Randy with us tonight. And Randy, I sure enjoyed having you here. But I got a question. Yes, sir. Out of the years of your journeys and so forth, a couple of maybe situations that have really stood out over the years that you might could share. Yes, one that always comes to my mind. I may have shared it before, and I'll do a cliff note version of it. We were in Israel, and we used the ball to get uh, folks' attention. And, uh, you know, you need to witness in Israel just like you do in Asheville or Try. L.A. or wherever. People need the Lord everywhere. And I was doing the ball on the streets, and a, uh, the young people were gathering around, and we were giving them our Crossfire Gospel track in English and giving them tracks in uh, Hebrew. And I didn't see a Hasidic Jewish fella get on his cell phone. And before you know it, there were about 50 Hasidic Jewish fellas around me screaming in uh, Hebrew and broken English. And I asked the guy beside of me, I said, what are they saying? He said, well, they're saying they hate you and they hate Jesus too. I said, okay. So I told the 67-year-old deacon fellow with me, a great friend of the ministry, I said, brother, we need to get back up the street. Well, a guy stepped out of the crowd and I thought he was just going to talk to me. Well, he spits in my face. Oh, wow. So I got spit rolling down my face now. And I said, Frank, you need to go get your wife and, and others and put them in a taxi and take them back to the hotel. Frank said, Randy, I'm not going anywhere. I'm willing to, you're willing to witness. I'm willing to pray. Well, he didn't know it, brother and sister, but I was through witnessing. I was looking for a way of escape <laughs> and uh, turned to walk up the street to get away from the, I got a whole new revelation of what Paul said by an angry mob. Mm. And you could just see the hate on these people's faces. So we turned to walk up the street. One of them flings a bottle out of the crowd, hits me in the side of the head and you know me pretty well. I got a hard head, so kind of like a ball game. My adrenaline was pumping. I didn't really feel it. Kept going up the street, and I had a shirt on like this one, which was a sweatshirt. And they had to read on the back of my shirt, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So long story short, we got to a restaurant. The owner took us up in the attic. The Lord uh, preserved us, and the uh, police came and put us in a... Uh, a squad car, the sirens going, going across Jerusalem. And I'm thinking, wow, I would have never tried to put those people in danger. Well, I got to the hotel and the people were praying that we would have been safe. And I was getting ready to apologize to them. And they said, Randy, after I apologize, said, you don't need to apologize. You're doing what God has called us to do. You're sharing your faith. We don't even witness in America. We're going to go home and we're going to start sharing our faith. And that was 15 years ago. And I thought maybe... We'll never face that kind of persecution in America. 
but we may. Well, that's right. And uh, if we don't stand on the Word of God and the things of God and the promises of God, and 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, the Bible says, if my people, God's talking, who are called by my name, if they don't humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways, if they will, then I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. And believers, that's what we need to do now. We don't need to point the finger. We don't need to, to be judgmental. We need to pray. And we need to ask God to forgive our sin, our racism, our prejudice, our backbiting, our gossip, our slander, God's people. And then He'll hear from heaven, forgive our sin, and heal our land. Amen. You've got something very special tonight you're going to be sharing, aren't you? We do. I brought a ministry video that you asked me to bring. And I, don't, I want you to watch the video, but I don't want you to... Uh, Focus on Jamie and I and Crossfire because of people like you pray and people like you give and people like you have us here. We're able to go and share. What I want you to think about when these songs play is somebody that you can witness to this week. People are scared. Fear, we talked about it at the beginning. There are people mm -hmm. that are scared because of their skin color. We need Jesus. And I want you to think about it as you see the different places God has allowed us to share this last year of who you can witness to this week and ask God to put someone on your heart that you can share with and listen to the words of the songs. Amen. A restless generation We're turning over every stone Hoping to find salvation in a world that's left us cold Can we get back to the altar Back to the arms of our first love There's only one way to the Father And He's calling out to us To the captive it looks like freedom To the orphan it feels like home To the skeptic it might sound crazy To believe in a God who loves It's the good news for us all It's greater than religion It's the power of the cross So can we get back to the altar Back to the arms of our first love
gospel that makes a way
Well, to God be the glory. Amen. 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 We need to give God praise Amen. for everything. That was all done in one year. Yes, ma'am. Well, we went in prayer, and the Lord told us to plant a seed oh. in your ministry. Oh, we that appreciate it was good that. Ground. Thank you. And I know God is speaking to others as well. And I know it's been months when you've not had anything or... But you know what? God takes well, care you, of his sister. own. God bless so you. Just know that, appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome, yeah. brother. Appreciate just, that, brother. Just bless seed you. into your Thank ministry. You. Praise so the Lord. we love you and we're behind you. I think you both know that, hey, Jamie. We know if that. you're watching, are... you know tonight we're we're behind you, just like we are, Randy. We love you. We love your moms. We love your families, your siblings. I mean, they're all supportive. Y'all can do <laughs> this if you didn't have that support. That's right. You've got a great team of people that help you. So we're very, very, very yeah, proud. We just give the Lord the glory. It's you know, I said to thing. myself, you know, Lord, I don't know what's ahead. I don't. I know the Lord's coming soon. I can't tell you. I can look at the seasons, and I can tell you, I believe we're close. I know we don't know the day or the hour, but I'll tell you this: I believe all that you've done last year. God says, "I've got to, I've got to get them out there, Amen. get that word planted." Amen. And I believe you've seen a harvest. Oh yeah. Great harvest. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go back now to Victoria Bowling. She's done our special music. She will be in Dollywood in October. You need to go. You go right to her Facebook and look. And she, she's she got a, a, a page there where you can just find out all the dates where she's going to be in Dollywood and some of the places. Those are great opportunities. So she's going to do a song for us now called Long Gone. Amen. was the Father's will. But on the third day when they came to grieve, the stone was rolled away. His head did rise, it was no surprise, and the grave he did not stay. He was long gone, he took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Long gone from the prison cell, Satan thought he'd pay. that we serve a risen Savior. Now once was headed down a dead end road, didn't know which way to go. Searching for love in all the wrong places, I wound up hurt and broke. But then my heart changed when I let him in. Jesus saved my soul from sin. He picked me up, took the shattered pieces, put them back together again. Now it's long gone, the pain I felt I carried for so long. Long gone, the broken heart I traded for a song. All the tears I cried over every night, the devil tried to tell. Now it's a long, 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 yeah. Long, 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 yeah. Now it's a long, long, the pain I felt I carried for so long. enjoyed the music tonight of Victoria Bowling. I just love her. I love her spirit. Well, there's some more birthday requests that's come in. Uh, uh, Jamie called, called in and said, tell you happy birthday. Here is happy birthday, Way. She loves watching the program. You are a blessing to so many. Rosemary said happy birthday, Way. Oh. And then Shane Scarborough watch, watches the program and said happy birthday. There have been some real urgent requests. We've just got just a few minutes in the program. We want to make sure that we read your requests. I love praise reports, and I know there's been a lot, a lot of needs tonight that's called in. Our prayer partner, uh, nephew, said, just keep my nephew, Marcus, this is Amanda talking about, 
Marcus and his family in prayer. He's 20 years old, was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's been in the hospital for 14 days. Mm. He has an underlying issue with inflammation, which is causing fevers every day. Please pray they will find the right treatment and that those fevers go away. Thank you. Let's just pray for Marcus right now. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we send forth your word and demonstration and power of the Holy yes. Ghost, knowing that nothing is too hard for you. You said you sent your word and it healed them. And tonight we send forth that word in the Marcus Hospital room. Yes. And we speak healing. God, we go to the very root cause of whatever these problems are. And we know that you're able to do abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. Yes. You said in your word, is there anything too hard for me? And we know that there is not. Amen. So we lift Marcus to you, Lord, right now. I just ask you, Lord, let him sense your presence. Be with this family. Give them strength, Lord, during this time. And just minister to him right now in the bed where he's at. I just speak healing. I speak healing and breakthrough for his body in the name of Jesus. And we'd be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wade, do you have some? Yes. Uh, here's someone that has uh, been a listener for many years in the hospital with heart failure and uh, other issues needing a touch from the Lord. Amen. Amen. On that. And then here's... Uh, uh, please pray for a daughter who uh, has alcohol problems and drugs, needing a touch from the Lord, needing deliverance. Many calls coming in all. tonight. Wait, will you just, we've got about 30 seconds. Yes. And we just want to tell you we love you and we, we praise you. We thank you for being a part of our Nightline family. We're so glad to, to be here with you tonight. Thank you, Randy, for coming. Thank we you. We pray it's for him blessing. and Jamie and the ministry. I can't think of a better way to close out tonight and praying for you, praying the prayer of faith. We love yes. you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wait, will you pray? Father, as we hold these requests again before you, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, knowing that you're a prayer answering God. Lord, you're Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider, Father. And Lord, I thank you that healing goes forth, Father. Restoration goes forth, Father. Oh, Lord, you know the needs of each and every one of these requests. And I thank you, Lord, that you're turning these requests, Father, into praise reports, Father. Oh, yes. Lord, that people will call back in and give God, you, Lord, the glory for what you yes. have done for yes, them. Father. And again, we want to thank you for this privilege Touch each one. of being here tonight, Father. Yes, Father. Strengthen In them. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.